So you're looking for a stereo system to put in your car. One of the most things you want is to have a good stereo system inside your vehicle. And one of the good purchases I found for my vehicle is a touchscreen stereo system from Amazon. So you're looking for a good stereo system to put inside your vehicle. Because after all, one of the best upgrades you can put inside your car is a touchscreen stereo system with GPS and CarPlay and everything that you just want to have inside your vehicle. But these stereo systems can be very expensive, especially if you buy brand name equipment. We all know what it's like searching on Amazon for those touchscreen stereo systems. I worry as much as what you do. I'm looking to get something that's good for the buck. And we all get that little feeling inside of our chest and we see those touchscreen stereos with everything they offer for under $200 on Amazon. But I'm here to tell you, I'm one of those guys that has those stereos from Amazon and they all work great. Now they're not brand name. Like the big names you see, Pioneer, Alpine, Kenwood, Rockford Fosgate, Clarion. No, they have names like Podifo and Atoto. Most of them I can't even pronounce. But one thing I can tell you is I have three of those stereo systems of my very own. from Amazon, yes. I searched it, I searched it on the interwebs, and I went across to Amazon, and I purchased three of those stereo systems. And I'm here to tell you, I was worried about how these stereo systems were gonna work. I also worried about how hard was it gonna to be to connect these stereo systems up to my vehicles. My first vehicle, a 1976 Chevy Nova. Yes, guys, I have a touchscreen double DIN stereo system inside my 1976 Chevy Nova. My next vehicle is a 2005 GMC Sierra. Yes, guys, I even got one of those touchscreen double DIN stereos inside my 2006 GMC Sierra. My next vehicle is a 2012 Hyundai Elantra. Yes, guys, even in an Elantra. And the touchscreen stereo inside the Elantra actually came with the whole complete dash panel for less than $200. So I had all of this come from Amazon for less than $200, all built in, plug and play. I have a video, you guys should go check it out, okay? Go check out the video of the installation of this stereo. And then about a month later, I gave an update video on how the stereo was working. The first thing I was concerned about was, is it gonna be fast? It's fast, guys, it works good. I have Messenger, I have TikTok, I have Facebook. Come on, guys, I even got the YouTube. Got to have the YouTube. It has themes that you can go inside and change. They even show you the speed on the actual stereo system, runs by GPS. These stereos work good. Listen. I was nervous at first, just like you guys, and when I bought these stereos, I thought I threw my money away. I thought money was just raining down away from me. But they came, and I installed these stereo systems in each one of those vehicles, the 76, the 2006, the 2012, and guys, they all work great. They all work perfect. I have no issues. The speed of the stereo system works. The touchscreen is very, very responsive. I haven't had any issues. One downside is you have to have a subscription for certain parts of the CarPlay service. And that ranges between $9.99 to $12.99 for a subscription into CarPlay for these stereo systems. Is it worth it? I think so. You want your GPS? It has your GPS good to go. You want your music playing, guys? You can have your music playing. I can't give you any volume because I don't want to be copywritten. You want to make a phone call? 
go ahead, make a phone call. It all works, everything is good. Your voicemail is there, keypad, contacts, recent calls, favorites, everything is there. You want to have your music so you know what's playing on your stereo, the name, who it is, and your GPS, it's all there. I can't pronounce the name properly. I think it's Podafo or something like that. I don't know. Why do we need to know the name of the stereo system? Why do we need to know how to pronounce it? It's all made from China. As I said, guys, I bought three, three of these stereo systems. One for a 76, one for a 2006, one for a 2012. Come on, the spectrum just goes pretty low there on the years of the vehicles. They all work pretty good. Again, I'll say they're not top name brands, but they're very responsive in everything they do. Everything seems to work fine. I don't have any issues. If you want to Google search something, guys, just go into Google and search it. That's it. See, there's your Google right there. You want to listen to the radio, guys? Be my guest. Listen to the radio. All three vehicles, I haven't connected the rear cameras. Not in any vehicle yet. It's a little bit complicated. People are asking me in the comments, but I still haven't got to it. But I will. I will do that. 2006 GMC Sierra. Has a touchscreen stereo system in it. Right there. Guys, we got a 1976 Scream and Chevy Nova here. Southside boy style ways. And let me tell you, guess what's inside, guys? A touch screen stereo system. All bought from Amazon. Everything works, no problems. Check this out. Listen, guys, that's built by me. I built that thing. And it has a touch screen. All jokes aside, guys, I have enough of these touchscreen stereos to know they do work pretty good. No problems yet. And I'll give updates if I do have any problems with any of these stereo systems. So don't forget guys, check out the next video. If you want to see the video on the installation of the stereo inside the 2012 Honda Elantra, check it out on my next video. Just check out the next video and you'll see the installation process. It was pretty simple and easy really, except for I didn't hook up the rear camera. So thanks a lot guys. Peace out from Southside Boy Style.